Top of the morning, good afternoon, hello, and welcome, planet Earth. And all the folks on it to uh, an inspirational thought and your question for the week. All right, Dermot Butterley here, creative facilitator of Club Fearless for Coaches and My Better Life. Okay. Uh, this is part one of four. Uh, every month I'm doing, you know, four parts just for do something different and have some fun. So this month, your inspirational thought is you're doing great. How many times a day do you say to yourself, you're doing great? Probably none. First time my coach ever said to me, Dermot, you know, you're doing great. I thought, who is he? Is there someone behind me <laughs> that he's talking to? I said, you're talking to me? He said, yeah. He said, you're really doing great. You're showing up. He said, you're not perfect. He said, it's pretty messy. But you're showing up and you're doing stuff. He said, you're doing great. Now, I brushed that off. And I thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. He says that to all his clients, you know. It's a coaching trick to get me to like him and pay him more money. And um, I didn't trust it when I first heard it. But because it was said with such certainty, it made an impact on me. And over the coming weeks, I started to think, am I doing great? Because I, for many, many years, have judged myself. You know, Dermot, you're an idiot and you're stupid and you can't do this and you can't do that. Why can't you follow through? In my 20s, you know, I had a lot of great ideas, but I followed through on none of them. And then in my 30s, I moved around a lot. Um, and it wasn't really till my early 40s that I, I really started to kind of look at what do I want to do with my life? What would be something that I could say that I'm great at? Or something that I could say, you know, you're doing great here, Dermot. And I got into coaching and training and facilitating and doing all that kind of stuff, workshops and self-development. Um, and still yet today, I still find myself being pretty hard on myself at times. Any relate to that? Yeah, we're all pretty, we're our worst, we're our worst judges. There's nobody judges ourselves more than ourselves. Nobody could judge ourselves more than ourselves, than ourselves. All right, you get the idea. There's a lot of selves in there, you know. <laughs> me, 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 myself and I. Um, but I'm here today to talk a little bit about, and over the coming weeks in the four parts, is you're doing great. And, and I'm going to share some stuff with you, some stuff that I've learned over the years. I've been blessed to, you know, coach with some of the best coaches on the planet. And they really helped me to look at this idea of, hey, I'm doing great. Even when the outside world or the outside circumstances tell me that I'm not. Because you're doing great is, is a state of mind. It's not a state of life. I used to think that my life had to be perfect. I used to think that I had to make X amount of money. I used to think that everyone had to like me. And I used to think that I used to have the perfect relationship and the perfect home and all of that stuff. And that's all outside circumstances. And the thing about outside circumstances is they all change. <laughs> it's the only thing that you can really rely on. You know, they say death and taxes, but I would add change in there. You can rely on change. It's going to happen. It's the only constant in the universe. It's going to happen. You know, life is a full contact sport. You're going to get your knocks, right? And so I used to be pretty hard on myself. And I'm going to talk today a little bit over the coming weeks on the idea that you are doing great. Just kind of lighten up a little bit. Take a moment to reflect. Am I doing great? What am I doing great on? And so that's what these videos over the next uh, four weeks are going to be about. These these videos come to you every, every Monday. And um, if you want to get them sent to your email, you can go down below. Uh, not too far below. In the chat box below, there's a link there. and You can sign up for the Club Fearless um, Inner Circle newsletter. And I send out videos every week. I send out an inspirational thought and video question for your week and other stuff as well. 
So make sure to sign up for that. All right. You're doing great. I want to share something with you. I'm going to read it here. Most people don't think of life as getting better. Everyone in the world, oh, the world has gone to hell in a handbasket. But I'm going to read you some statistics that prove otherwise. Again, see, that's a mentality. That's, you know, the, 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 the glass is half full. Over the last hundred years, uh, extreme poverty has massively declined. World hunger massively declined. Uh, used to be a big, big problem. Still is, but not as much with child labor. That's down by 40%. And that's really something to, to celebrate. People are living longer. They're living 10, 20, 30 years longer now. Especially in poor countries, people are living up to 10 to 20 years longer. Child mortality, that used to be a big thing, 1800s, early 1900s. That's declined in the last 30 years, uh, probably I would say 80 years, to four, over 43%. That's pretty amazing. A lot of people used to die from parasitic infections. They are reduced in the last 100 years by 99%. That's incredible. The rate of Americans used to smoke cigarettes, myself included. It's way down, 45%. Since 1950 to now. That's incredible because the 50s was a big time when people smoked. Doctors used to tell pregnant women to smoke to calm their nerves. Violent crimes across the US where I live have massively decreased in the last 25 years. The internet. More people are now educated than ever before. And more people are spending more time uh, in school than ever before. Education rates, literary rates, all have improved. More and more people throughout the world are getting access to the internet. That's incredible. More and more people can get their hands on information, education. Incredible. You know, we look at renewable energy. Renewable energy, wind and solar. They're getting much cheaper, much cheaper, and much more effective. Now, I could go on and on and on about the things that are happening in the world that are changing. It would blow you away. world is getting better. Now, the, the, the job of media, it, you know, there's no sales in things getting better. There's no sales in people getting healthy. There's no money in that. There's only money in people getting sick or or or, or uh, sharing bad news, catastrophic news. That's what gets your attention. But it's not the facts of what's going on in the world right now. Could you imagine living in the 1800s? Toilet rate paper, for God's sakes. Could you imagine having to go out and use the bark of a tree? Toilet paper. Clean underwear. I couldn't imagine life without them. The world is getting better, folks. And 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 I think it it would be it would it would be helpful for us to take a moment and to 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 acknowledge that. When I was going through Ericsson International coaching training 10 years ago, you know, Marilyn Atkinson would often say to us, you know, the world's getting better. They don't tell you about it, but the world is getting better. One day I looked it up and I thought, God, she's right. The world is getting better. Amazing. So, your question for the week. Now, in the next in, in the next video, look out for it, uh, part two of uh, "You're Doing Great." We're going to look at why you're doing great today. I want to talk a little bit about why life is better and why life is doing great, and and and. All the stats and all the polls show that life is getting better and better and will continue to do so. Contrary to what you're sold in the, in the, in the media outlets. So in the next video, we're going to look at you're doing great 
and here's why. So your question for the week, I want you to take a moment and pause. Lots of good-willed, meaning people tell us, oh, the world has gone to hell, and everything's gone to crap, and it's all falling apart. But I want you to take a moment today and ask yourself, is that really true? Take a moment and just type into Google or something, is the world getting better? 10 ways the world is getting better. 20 ways the world is better than it was 10 years ago, 20 years ago. Because as I said before, change is constant. And the thing that the universe has, the evolution has, is that the change is always changing in a positive way. The universe is constantly expanding and growing in, in positive ways. And so that will always win the day. It has to. Or as Mahatma Gandhi said, truth will always reign. Truth will always be there. Because it's more powerful than fear. It's more powerful than, than any other force in the world. And if that's true, then the world has to be getting better. We have to be evolving. We're more conscious about our health. We're more conscious about money today. We're more conscious uh, about relationships today. We're more conscious about our own stuff today. Self-development workshops in every corner. We're more and more conscious about the world and the impact that we're having in the world. It's all getting better. So your question for today is, how is life getting better? Not your life, but how is life in general? Look it up. How is life? Make a little effort just for today to ask, how is life getting better? Is the world getting better? Take that question and think about it. Spend a few minutes on the internet looking up, how is the world getting better? And in the next video, we're going to look at, you're doing great. Your life is getting better. And here's why. Now, if you want to be part of the uh, of the newsletter, if you're a coach listening to this, please feel free to uh, jump in and uh, be part of the newsletter. We'll send you lots of videos and audios on how to create paying clients and how to use service and creativity to create a successful business. Until the next time, think big, have fun, stay curious, and thanks for listening to an inspirational thought and your question for the week. Cheers.